world, hey world, it's Pokey Badgie here. Um, don't mind the mess in the background, that'll be cleaned. I'll clean that. I'm right in the middle of doing a certificate three in hospitality, so I'm not home very often. But when I'm home, I'll um, start working on that. For now, I'm doing what I said I was going to do in the intro. And that is show you guys my lovely, lovely, lovely collection. I think this is the right one. That's my Pikachu and Eevee box. That's the one I wanted, I'm um, time zone. <laughs> ah, no, it's empty. Fuck! I'll go get the other one. Ah, here's the money. Here's the money! Here we go. I don't want to just be like, yeah, I get this one. I've got to show you guys my little collection. These are some cards I actually got from the intro, from the um, promo box. Here's a promo box card. That's promo, that is promo Zapdos. That is the promotion from the Pikachu and Eevee box. That's from the lunch box, Pikachu and Eevee lunch box. Excuse me. There we go, guys. Uh, it's probably a little too bright. I'm new at this. Don't judge me. Don't judge me yet. <laughs> ah, all right. And then there's there's also the um, mole trace, which I think is pretty cool. Do you guys want to guess the game of which one costs the most? So which one's worth the most? Leave in the comments which one you think is worth the most out of the three. And I'll put in the comments below in the next video. I'll put in the comments below the answer. You'll be surprised. You'll be very surprised. I've been collecting cards for what? Longer than I should be. Let's be. Way longer than I fucking should be. Let's be honest. Ooh. I like this one here. What do you guys reckon? The fairy energy? We've got gold fairy energy. That's a pretty cool one. Um, I actually got that from a Burning Shadows box set. Not a box set. I got it from the Burning Shadows um booster pack. Yeah, a gold card from a fucking booster pack. Hell yeah. Also, there's the new Elder, Elder Gloss. Elder Gloss V. Yeah. I like it. It's 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 worth quite a bit. So I have to be careful with these cards because they're actually worth you know they're worth quite a bit. Like in Australia, I don't know about America. I don't know. People keep pulling these and they keep complaining. It's like fuck it, dude. Look how cool that is. Look how cool the frost moth is, man. Be awesome if they had ice typing for the T A M um, T G C. Also, one I got for my birthday last year. Karate belt, golden boy. There's that one, and then there's Milo. Who doesn't like Milo? Come on, look, Rainbow Milo. That's about the only Rainbow Trainer card I have. Zamazenta. I got Zamazenta too. I want Zacian. I want Zacian. I wanted Zacian because Zacian's card, in my opinion, looks better. Looks kind of stupid that one. Um, B Max meow. Yeah, that's right. Don't expect me to do that perfectly. You have to be busting out songs about the fucking, the fucking what, the fucking Team Rocket theme. You have to be busting that out. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do it, bro. <laughs> nah, it's meow. Rainbow Keldio. Kildio! There's also, I got a little Dedenia as well. I got I got a few variations, but I have a variation, so I just have to say this is one of my favorites. Look how cool it is. I don't even care how much these cards are worth, to be honest. I just I thought it'd be cool for you guys to know, for um, new collectors to know what you're getting into. Look at that. A break talent flame. Not bad, not bad. I also got a break Machamp as well. I'm looking to complete the break set. 
So um, just let me know in the comments what you guys actually um, uh, if you guys are willing to trade that one from uh, I forgot what I forgot what it was from. I think it was Cosmic Eclipse. Don't expect me to pronounce the names properly, guys. I know I've been doing this for years, but still, come on. You can't expect that. Umbreon, Umbreon and Darkrai. That's a pretty cool one. I got a full art. I got some full arts too. I got some full arts too. Look, look. You got full art Stoutland with the rainbow. It's pretty damn cool. Also, guys, I got some Hidden Fates cards. Holy shit. I didn't even... At the time at the time, Hidden Fates was here in Australia, I didn't even know that they were going to be, like, worth so much. They were, like, there was so little going to be produced here. I didn't know at the time. So, you know, you can only blame me for only having one. I got the Shiny Drampa. This one, it's not that hard to come by. It's not worth much. But still, it's fucking Hidden Fates card. I got double two of these. Now, little did I know that these were actually worth a little bit more than I thought. I thought they were worth 15. These are worth 25. So I should have kept my second one. I got some prisms as well. Well, that's Prism Heat Factory. It's pretty cool. This will probably be the this will probably be the last time I pull them out till they get PSA graded, which will probably be around next year. So. Don't expect me to pull this out every week. I will probably be like buy a booster pack a week, maybe, and do do some do some opening, you know, record some openings. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Prism Ladios. I need Prism Ladios. I don't know if there's Prism Ladios, but I like Ladios better. Lissandre, our boy, wanted to destroy the world because the world was ugly. I got some Ultra Beats too, guys. Look, from Crimson, Crimson Invasion, there's that one. And then there's Nagan Trail from Ultra Prism. I'm trying to be very careful with them. I can see a bunch of professional collectors fucking shitting their pants right now. Like, oh my god, what is he doing? Pulling them out? What the fuck? Sorry, I didn't mean to be out loud. Uh, there's also Mew and Mew 2. I can't pull them out, but I'll pull them out for you guys, just so you know I'm not fucking bullshitting you. Yeah, Mewtwo and Mew is that one. I like that variation actually better than the other variation. There's another variation of it. Um, Also, Raichu and Alolan Raichu as well. Oh, don't worry, guys. I've got plenty more. There's plenty more where this came from. Mega Steelix, shiny. Got I got the gold nugget. I just have to be very fucking careful with these cards. Because as I said before, they're, they're, they're not cheap. They're not cheap to replace. And no, and the better the condition is, the more the higher the PSA grade and the more money you'll get for the card. But as I said, I'm not in it for the money. Where is nostalgia? Oh yeah, I also got these three. Sobble, Score Bunny, and Grookey. That was from this box here, actually. That was from this. I'm looking for True Steel. I might get, I might just get a box, one box a week, and just fucking do that. Because you guys want to see something big. You don't want to just see. I'm pretty sure, damn sure, you guys don't want to just see one booster pack and then be fucking done with it. No. You guys want something entertaining. You guys want to see me pull something cool and cream my fucking pants. I don't know why I said that. This one. My sister has the rainbow version. She won't give it up. <laughs> More wild GX. You're getting in the getting to be the, the less less rare ones. There's GX Alol and Radicate. I have GX Alolan and Radicate. I I'm just doing this from now on, guys, because I'm I'm really afraid that I'm gonna fuck these cards up. Star meal. I might, if we're lucky, boys. If I get off early tomorrow, I might just buy a fucking box, 
just to just to treat myself and you guys to something good. Star me that that's from Hidden Fates. That's from the Hidden Fates booster pack. Cause you cause remember if you guys remember correctly with the Hidden Fates booster packs, you get a GX and you get a shiny GX as well. This one's from Burning Shadows, Alola Nine Tails. That's from Burning Shadows. I'm just gonna do that. I'm not even gonna pull them out. There's Ultra Prism, the Ultra Prism poster boy. Jigglypuff and Mega. Fuck! Never mind. Shit! Shit! Let's just put it down. <laughs> Alright, there's that one. Then there's our Pirate Boy, Alolan Golem. I don't know why the fuck they gave him a beard. I don't know. There's Glacier GX. There's our poster boy for Crimson Invasion, Sylvani. There's Magurnia. Now, full art one's worth more than this one. This one's only worth like 10 bucks in my... I'll sell it for 10 bucks. I'll sell it for $10. Simply because it's not a full art. Same with the Abra as well. Mega Abra's worth way more. Mega Alakazam's worth may, way more. There's also this one from Ancient Origins. If you guys know, this is Tyranitar from Ancient Origins. There's the full art Bell Toy. And it's not reverse hollow, so it's not worth any, really not worth much. Uh, Victini, V. Victini's gone down in price a lot. I mean, I remember where, back when Victini was fucking rare. Now, now it's just nothing. There's also more PQ as well. And then there's this one here. That's my only good variation of the ultra of an ultra beast. There's my fighting energy. There's my gold island island amulet. There's my boss's orders, which I have to say one of my most probably one of my most expensive cards in my collection. This is worth around about seven sixty seven to seventy bucks. I'll sell it for fifty. Because I'm fair and I'm nice like that. There's Elementarius. I'm looking for the G-Max version. There's also this cool card. This one's pretty dope. I like it. I mean, I don't really care. I, just, I don't really give a fuck about the fucking value. If I gave, gave a fuck about the value, honestly, I'd be buying boxes like every day. Salamance. And that's about it, guys. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, oh, that's about it, guys. Um... Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. If you liked it, um, dislike if you didn't like it. I obviously I'm not. I know I'm not no pro. I'm just got the recording equipment, so um, yeah. I'll test this out, and um, it should be uploaded tonight. See you guys later. See you guys on the flip side. This is Pokey Badger out.